Once you finish talking to Lana, you want to head to the police department entrance. It's faster if you go there through Phoenix's law office rather than the criminal affairs department. If you go through the criminal affairs department, there's a boring, pointless dialogue about how nothing is going on there. Howdy, Bam Bina. Yes, I'm afraid Mr. Marshall is probably going to be fired. Why do prospectors head west? Well, it's manifest destiny. And as you can guess, we're going to talk to uh, the cowboy about everything. Uh-oh. I guess that's why everybody thinks there was forged evidence in the SL9 case. He was 27. Oh, hey, so he was Mia's age. You know, that's how old Mia was when she was, well, you know. There was something going on behind the scenes in that case. We all knew that later. Every detective involved in that investigation was taken care of. Yeah, who are you talking about? Who did this? Whoa! Chief Gant and our client? I disagree with Marshall. I don't think our client had anything to do with this behind-the-scenes firing and getting rid of all the detectives. That's because Lana was a victim. She used to be a detective, but right after the case, she was transferred to the prosecutor's office. So I'd say she was one of the detectives on the SL9 case, who got demoted, was taken care of after the case. That's what I think anyway. We'll see if I'm correct. Oh, I love that story. Just as much as Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's a great story. So Marshall is guessing that Edgeworth is a good guy? But who's the bad guy? Marshall thinks Damon Gant is the bad guy.
And that's the end of Detective Marshall, or Patrolman Marshall, I should say. Adios. He goes riding off into the sunset, and we're never going to see him again. We're also never going to see Mike Meekins again. In this game, at least, he makes a reappearance in Apollo Justice. I wonder who this chief person is they're talking to. I think it's this man who's working at the computer back here. No, that man's the head detective. Oh! Oh, I guess that is him. Never mind. The chief detective is the head detective. Okay, mystery solved. Anyway, the point of the conversation with the head detective is that he tells us we can visit Chief Gant's office. So this is a new place we can visit. That's kind of impressive, Ema. Oh, that's slightly less impressive. Something's not right with this picture. Phoenix can't figure it out, but there's some problem with the picture. Well, it turns out there are a couple of things that are strange about the picture, but I don't really want to spoil anything for you, so I'm just going to point out the one that Phoenix is thinking of, which is the King of Prosecutors trophy. Check out the top of the trophy here. Now look at the trophy in the picture again. Do you see the difference? There's this sort of baseball bat-like thing that's behind the K. You can see it sticking out of Marshall's arm. It's resting itself on Marshall's elbow. You can kind of see it. There was part of the trophy that was there two years ago, but it's not there anymore. And the next time Phoenix meets Edgeworth, he's going to talk about that and make a big deal out of it. Edgeworth is going to tell us the whole history behind the trophy, which is kind of long. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said there's no need to investigate it anymore. Ooh. So Chief Gant gets a little creepy when he kicks Phoenix and Ema out of his office. <laughs> 